Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a few things, a uh, couple updates that I want to do and also a few things that have been going on in my systems. It's been some time since I have done an update and it's uh, more than enough time to show you uh, what's happening. So thank you so much for seeing my videos and I just want to remind you to help me out, subscribe. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on. So we are going to start with my small water box peninsula mini 25 and I have here the cowfish living his life in this system. The system is pretty good, pretty stable, very simple to take care of. What's going on here is, as you can notice, I have an infestation of Aptasia. As you can see, uh, this stuff is everywhere. Look at it. It's growing everywhere. Got big ones, small ones. Got chunky ones, look at that one. For some people, this might look like super uh, horrible, ugly and disgusting. And it does for me as well. But um, I start noticing this stuff growing one by one and I've, I was using Aptasia X from Red Sea. This is the stuff that I was using to uh, take care of that stuff. One or two they pop off in the rock and I will use that and kill it right but the problem is I eliminate one adaptation then another one comes in and then another one comes in and then I I tell to myself like okay this stuff works a little bit but I, I don't want to deal with that every single time that I see an aptasia so this situation um, I have an opportunity here to experiment with something new so what I want to do with this tank is I want to buy some uh, Berja Nodibranchs and I want to throw them in there. So as you can see, this is the only fish in here. The puffer is no longer here. I got rid of him because he was bullying this guy and that was about it. So in the future, and I'm very sure I'm going to do a video uh, very specific about, I'm going to talk about the Berja Nodibranchs and how they work in and this system so that's why I'm letting all the Aptasia to grow exponentially so that's that's what's going on with this system the cowfish the box cowfish uh, he's doing great growing have no issues with this guy a lot of people have a lot of issues with uh, this type of fish but I know it's a little bit finicky uh, the way he because the way he is so if you if you have like in a very super aggressive system, don't recommend them. But for a system that is very passive, it will be a very good option. All right, guys. Uh, next we have the Red Sea uh, Reefer 350, and I haven't done an update in this system in a very 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 long time. So what's happening with this tank? Uh, first of all. As you can see, I have a lot more coral in there than before, but it's nothing crazy. And it's a reason for that. I have a bunch of rose bubble tip anemones. That stuff is for sale. I've been dosing all for reef from Tropic Marine on this system, uh, as well as with Kalkwasser. So the Kalkwasser is to um, keep the pH high a little bit. And then the all for reef is of course to keep all the elements uh, very consistent. Um, in a very stable, right? I've been experimenting with SPS in here to see if they can they can live <laughs> because that's right the whole point. And I noticed that they don't last long. Uh, specifically, I'm using Montipora Capricornis in here, and that's a very simple SPS, but it, it lasts a couple of weeks and then bleaches and dies. So I have a couple of theories that what's what's maybe going on in here. And one of those is that probably the pH is very is either very low or the elements that I'm dosing are not sufficient for an SPS uh, coral. I'm going to uh, boost that up a little bit and keep experimenting until I reach that goal of keeping SPS. So moving on, a couple of updates from this system is first of all, I got the third light. 
So I replaced the castle that I used to have here and I replaced it with an AI Prime. So the castle is right here. If anybody is interested, I'm selling that. The light needs work. I can sell it for very, very cheap. But nevertheless, I replaced it with an AI Prime to cover that big gap that I have of uh, lack of light in this system. And the AI Prime looks just perfect in there. Very sleek. I managed to hide all the cores from behind. So you can see the light floats in there. So I like it, like very much how it looks. Uh, another update, I wanna talk about a little bit about an inhabitant on this tank. And as you can see, I have a ras in there, a big ras, either a blue headed ras, some people call it like that, or some other people call it a paddle fin ras. So the scientific name is Thalassoma amblycephalum. Uh, this is a predatory uh, ras, all right? So it's not a reef, a reef safe fish. It's a big ras, big personality, and is the bully of the tank. I thought for a very long time to get rid of him, but when I was ready to get rid of him, take it out of the system, I couldn't do it. So that's what I'm doing this video is pretty much a, I don't want to get rid of this fish. The fish is, I had him since he was like probably half an inch and now he, he grew to be like that monster. He's the bully. He eats everything. He flips everything. He anoints everybody. He jumps. It's like the whole deal. Why am I talking about this fish is because sometimes you go to the fish store and you see a, a fish that you are like, I, it's a must have. I, I see the fish and it's like, I need that fish in my life. You gotta ask yourself a couple of questions and most importantly is, are those fish reef safe? Most likely the coolest fish are not reef safe. <laughs> That's very disappointing. If you're willing to go to that route and do something like I did, you gotta keep a, a few things in mind. First of all, keeping a fish like this makes the reef t the hobby, the reef setup, you have to pretty much work around it. Why? Because that fish is going to bully everybody, so you have to have other fish that are capable of withstand the fish, right? Second, if you have coral, you have to glue everything. And what I mean by gluing is like placing it into a rock and epoxying that rock into a bigger rock. If you don't do that, this guy is gonna flip everything and all your coral is gonna be uh, upside down all the time. And then uh, third, you have to be able to provide a good a midi uh, resource for this guy. So what I do is I, usually my, the, the food choice that I have is uh, chunky mices and sometimes I give him like pieces of shrimp and he's he's been growing there very, very well. I thought very hard to get rid of him and get something else, but I, I decided like not to do it and just keep the aggressive attraction in this system. All right guys, and to finish up, I just wanna show you my main display. So my main display is looking very well. I'm very pleased with the results and all the effort that I'm being putting in this system. So I switched from two par to all for reef a few months ago, okay? So right now what I'm dosing, and let me show you right here. So what I'm dosing is, uh, this is all for reef from Tropic Marin and this right here is alkalinity, but this is soda ash. All right, so I'm doing soda ash with uh, all for reef, and I'm also doing uh, kalkwasser. All right, so a lot of people will ask, like, why that crazy mix-up? So a couple of reasons is I wanna have uh, in a very stable alkalinity, and also the soda ash provides higher pH. Combined with the kalkwasser, I have a, a very stable pH during the night when I need the pH the most, okay? And then the all for reef, I'm getting all those good elements. So as you can see, the coloration in, this, in the corals are, is very, very well. And also the growth in the corals is very nice. Uh, some examples I can show you right now. For instance, if you can see the LPS, all the LPS are fluffy and chunky. You got the Cinarinas right there, Tracheophilia in the back. 
you've got lobophilias right here. All right, so you can see in the back, here in the top, you can see I have a, a, a Montipora. There's a yellow Montipora, man, and I really like that color. So the growth on the corals is very, very well, very nice, very defined, very, it's like, I haven't seen this tank doing this well in, in a very, very long time. Uh, so, as you can see, even the soft corals like that Niftia in the back is very fluffy. I haven't been feeding these corals like I was doing it before because I'm fighting with not high nutrients, but I'm trying to have the nutrients in, in a good ratio. I've been uh, researching about that and it doesn't matter if you have high nutrients, as long as you have a good ratio between nitrate and phosphate, your stuff can be very uh, stable. All right, so I don't wanna talk too much about it because I'm very, very new, very fresh into it. So I don't wanna say something incorrect. Okay, got more corals over here. Got the bounce mushroom, uh, sun kissed. Another, I believe that's another type of tracheophilia. And you got in the back, you got, it's another type of uh, scene arena in the back with that, that one over there is the candy cane. I got a few SPS in there, Anacropora, and then uh, another Montipora. To finish up, I just wanna let you know that I add a third light in here. So as you can see, there is a third radion a radium uh, generation five blue <laughs> it's not the six so i know some people is like oh you shouldn't get the six but uh, whatever the five is just fine man it's like i don't know it works very well so show you from a different angle so i have the xr15 in the middle and two xr30s in each side and on the back, I have a blue blue bar LED, a uh, known brand, it's like a Chinese something. And I have good coverage, low shadowing, which is what I'm exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so what's the goal with this tank? Half more coral. Like I cannot have, it's, there is not enough coral in here. <laughs> So I wanna get more species, more crazy corals, more more coral in general. All right guys, so yeah, that's that's the very, uh, the goal with this tank is uh, I wanna have more coral. I love my LPS garden over here. I love that uh, that I have uh, a couple of crazy stuff going on in here. The, the anemones are crazy and wild as ever. And right now I, I wanna put more SPS on the tap. So maybe I can start uh, experimenting with Acropora. I don't know. If I can see, if I can find some cheap Acropora, <laughs> the, uh, that, that will be the, uh, the good experiment because I have these empty spaces over here. All right. All right, guys, so to conclude, this was a very short video for all the stuff that I did. This has been months of work in the switching of the light, uh, the, the Red Sea, the acclimatization from switching from uh, all for reef, from two part to all for reef. It's been months. I could have done this video a lot sooner, but the holidays were top of my life and I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so now that the holidays are finally over, I can start making more uh, content. So uh, for the next video, I, I wanna spoil things up a little bit, and we, we have a few projects on the horizon, and I wanna take you guys and show you all those uh, crazy things. And uh, first of all, I wanna make a very, very in-depth video about Virgin Nudibranchs. That is coming up. Uh, that's, that's why I have that uh, stuff going on in the Waterbox Peninsula. Uh, second, my friend, he's getting a, uh, a new tank. 
a big tank. Switching from the tank that I give him, the 60 gallon DIY to a 150. So I'm, of course I'm going to help him out building the system. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take you guys into that journey to see from uh, from zero to to the end, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you that. Uh, and then there is another project, a big project, and um, I'm getting a big tank, a bigger, a huge tank. So most likely all this stuff is going to, I'm going, I'm gonna have to sell all this and get a, a big tank, but that's, that might be for like the end of the year kind of thing, you know what I mean? So that that is the, the last project but um, to begin with, we're gonna be working on the Verges and then the, um, my friend's system. And, and also, uh, I wanna show you that that system, that little water box peninsula, I have a few ideas of what I wanna put in there. If you're interested in seeing something weird, stay tuned, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I see you on the next video. Appreciate it.